And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice has the night off. Well, it may not have been a killer storm or even that destructive, but let's face it, a tornado touching down in western New York is a very rare event. Well, you were so right, Scott, and that's exactly what happened today. An F1, a strong F1 tornado, ripped through the community of Cheektowaga. I went up a little bit earlier this evening with Erie County Sheriff's Department's helicopter unit, and I learned a bit more about this unusual event. I went up earlier this evening with Captain Kevin Caffrey and the Erie County Sheriff's Air One, and we decided to fly over the exact path that the tornado had earlier this afternoon to take a look at the damage. The first site was this business plaza just a little bit west of the thruway over on Walden Avenue. As you can see, that roof had been torn apart and debris was even scattered into the empty lot next door. And that air conditioning unit on the roof was almost knocked down on its side and that could have been a disaster in and of itself. Now a little further to the east as we flew towards the thruway, I found damage on this DHL building. Part of the roof had been peeled back, and you can even see there's a hole even been ripped open in the roof. Now, just across the throughway, as the tornado continued to move, the tops of trees have been cracked and knocked off. Several other trees were uprooted altogether. And I found a little bit more damage in this subdivision right here, where the roof of this home had been picked apart. This is where the tornado ended. You can see right down to the plywood in spots, and in several areas, the wood had even broken apart. Now, Scott, I want to show you real quickly what we're talking about when we talk about the signature of a storm. This is the shot from Air One tonight. Look at this path right there. This is the line we were looking at. And again, the signature of a storm like that shows circular motion. This whole area, just a little bit south of this railroad track, looks like somebody came and just pushed down real hard and put all the grass in kind of a circular motion. That's the signature of a twister, an F1 at this time. All right, thank you, Kevin. Well, it may not have been strong, but this tornado still left plenty of people shaken. Using Google Earth technology, you can see where witnesses first reported the tornado touching down on Walden Avenue right near Harlem Road. That's where two on your sides, Mary Friona, Aaron Sakin, and Robin Young are live tonight with a look at the storm's path. And Mary, let's begin with you. Well, good evening, Scott. This plaza and construction site were right in the middle of the path of destruction. It left shop owners and workers with a mess and some scary memories. Open the door. The door slammed and threw me in that corner. Witnesses say it happened so fast. The rain was so heavy, so black, and just it just moved so fast. The destruction is unmistakable. This construction trailer was picked up and thrown around like a toy into the middle of Walden Avenue. Sky turned black. Heavy wind came in through the back and um, just threw us through the door. Windows were blowing out. Just threw us around. Powerful twister tore the roof off this entire plaza and blew out car windows. It came so fast, it tipped my car up on its wheels, threw my mother into my lap, came back down and crashed all my windows on the side. What were you thinking? That I was going to die. When it was over, everybody was thankful to be okay, but still left with quite a mess. The owners of this subway knew it was bad, but when we showed them what it looked like through the cameras on the top of our live truck, they realized the extent of the damage. Do you look? I mean, look at our roof, it's gone. Is it worse than you thought it would be? It's a lot worse. It's a lot worse, yeah. It was fast and furious. The scary few moments, compliments of Mother Nature. And the destruction bad here, but Aaron, of course, the path continued past this area. Yeah, it's next target, Mary, back there on the throughway, slamming into it right before rush hour. This home video was shot just minutes after one of the most destructive moments of the storm. The twister sending this tractor trailer right over the median on the 90 at Walden, slowing traffic for miles in each direction. The truck didn't flip over. It flew. It flew into that, that concrete barrier, and it was just totally demolished. Michael Torado ought to know the truck was passing him when it was lifted from the ground. And all of a sudden, my car lifts, spins around, slams back down. It almost rolled over. I thought I was going to roll over actually, and it really scared me. The driver of the rig remarkably not seriously hurt. But the destruction didn't end there. I look out the window and I can see that uh, telephone pole just 
shaking in the, in the breeze like a pencil stuck in the ground. Bill Linden was working inside this DHL warehouse that sits right along the 90. It was the tornado's next target. You could feel the roof peeling off. I mean, it felt like, it, you know, like uh, someone just taking the lid off a can, just peeling it right off. Sending huge chunks of debris 60 to 70 yards away, some right onto the road on Broadway. The wind also strong enough to flip this second tractor trailer in DHL's back lot. No one inside was hurt. Uh, Linden has seen this before. Please. Eerily, one of the last big tornadoes in Cheektowaga in 1987 blew right through his backyard, damaging his family home. I'm just hoping that this is my last uh, tornado experience. That would be nice. Of course, it didn't end at that DHL factory site, Robin, did it? No, it didn't, Aaron. It continued on its way across Cheektowaga, a three-mile, ten-minute spree that left some people shaking. I was very scared when I heard the roar. Stan Bushko says he and his wife got on the floor as the hail came down. Tree limbs swirled and the roof of their garage was ripped off, scattered in bits down the street. Just like what people say, it sounds like a freight train. It's a rarity in western New York and about the last thing Cheektowaga residents expected to see. But they saw a twister skipping across their town. It sounded like a tractor trailer coming through the house. You know, a crackling, loud noise. So Mother Nature is real mad. Along Union, witnesses say the tornado came across the railroad tracks next to the Erie County Water Authority, tearing through a fence, blowing out car windows. It even moved it over into another parking spot. It was an experience Corey Tomicki won't forget. He was stuck in traffic on Union at the time. The debris was spinning, and all of a sudden there was tree limbs coming down, saw the funnel cloud. It lifted my truck up about three, four inches in the front end, slammed it down. The F1 twister roared onto Como Park, ripping a huge tree out of the ground at Adams Lounge. Watching the beautiful hail and the rain coming down, and everything was nice and exciting. And then all of a sudden, I heard that train sound. Then across the road to Hospice Buffalo, damaging some trees and fraying nerves. The winds picked up, and it got real loud. Um, the one thing that most people commented on is seeing huge tree branches flying through the sky around here. Mother Nature putting on a fast and furious three-mile show, but thankfully only two minor injuries. And as we all know, the last tornado here back in 1987, that was an F2. This was an F1. Authorities say we're very, very lucky. For the entire Storm Team 2 team tonight, Robin Young in Cheektowaga.